Hello, church. We are the Smiths. I am Jean. And I am John. Thanks for joining us. Today, we continue the church's series through the Book of Psalms. In a secular world that often questions the very existence of God, let's read what he has revealed in response to such questions in Psalm 19, a Psalm of David. Follow along in your Bible as we read. The first six verses speak of God's natural revelation. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. Verses 7 through 11 tell us of his special revelations to us through his law, his word. The law of the Lord is perfect, <clears throat> reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to our eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. <clears throat> they are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them, is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. And finally, we're reminded of his personal revelation to each of us. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. As we continue to reflect on his word, let's use his words as we join in prayer. Thank you, Lord, that we can celebrate your creation, your awesome universe that declares your glory. Thank you for your word that ministers to our spirit, to our intellect, to our emotion, even giving light to our eyes. Thank you that you know each of us. You know me so much better than I know myself. We look to you submit to you and trust in you to forgive our faults, our sins, to keep us from willful sins and to keep us close to you. O oh Lord, Lord, my, my rock, rock and, and my, my redeemer. redeemer. Amen. Amen.